the Speakmans, they have tackled every phobia from spiders, and we're not, we're not joking, to tomato sauce, yeah, yeah. ketchup as ketchup, well. Ketchup, buttons, uh, pantomime done everything, horses. We've, frogs, yeah, yeah. we've done it all. Done we've, it all. We've been through that journey we've with you. Yes, you certainly have. So well, they're back, which mm -hmm. is good to see you. Thank nice you. to see you. And alongside them today, we've got Abigail Russell. Uh, Abigail's a nurse, and she suffers from, I hope I can say this properly, G Jeffy Rephobia. Is it Jeffy Rephobia? Jeffy Rephobia, which is the fear of. Bridges. I didn't know it had a name. No, <laughs> it's got a big long name that I can hardly say. Well, it has an effect on you, certainly. Yeah. It's mm. got a name and an effect. What is the effect it has on I you? I just, I'm fine to look at a bridge. Obviously, it doesn't affect me if I see a bridge, but if I'm trying to drive, well, I can't drive mm. over bridges and I can't really walk over bridges. So it means that if I, I have family where I live in Bristol, which is surrounded by bridges, yes. and have family live Clevedon Way, so I have to go over bridges. So instead of going over bridges, I have to go always around the long way to get there. But you must have to drive over something. Like, okay, look, just pretend I'm driving the car, yeah, right? And you're yeah. sitting beside me, right? Yeah. So we're going, and I suddenly say, uh, Abigail, here's a bridge. What, yeah. way, what happens to you? What panic do you do? I a complete panic attack. If do, do you down. look? Do you lie back? I, I look, I, yeah, I used to lie back. I used to lie back. If my husband's driving, and if I'm not driving, I don't have a panic. But if I'm, I used to, if my husband was driving, lie back in the car or ring people when I was going over the bridge so that I wouldn't... And close your eyes yeah, and just... Yeah, think about it. Do you it. know what it is... You're frightened, or do you think it's going to collapse? Or? I, I don't know if I worry if I'm going to come off the bridge. Um, yeah, so I just I, f I feel like all of a sudden there's nothing below me, and I, it's just a sense of panic. That and is I'm there thinking. anything that you're aware of in your life, in your childhood, about bridges I mean, that I, I, might I, have triggered this off? Yeah, I do remember being in the car with my cousin when I was a sort of probably five-ish, around that age, and driving in a car, and the person who was driving, it, it just swerved towards the the, hmm. the side of the bridge and I remember my cousin saying stop it you're scaring her so I remember that I do remember hmm. that happening well, this is the sort of thing that Nick and Eva seize on and they need to do their detective business to find out what is we will all say it's an irrational fear but Nick it's very rational to her it is very rational and, and surprisingly enough the fear of bridges is really common is uh, it? Yeah, mm -hmm. you, I mean, usually it's linked to a fear of heights or a fear of driving and the, the things combined. But yeah, it is quite common, and, and that's you know for us is that's obviously when it started, and she's had this. But as, as, as any fear, it grows over the years, and she had this from five. She's now thirty-eight, so you know, she's had it for thirty-three years. It's got worse. Time, do you yeah. think? Mm, it has yeah, the because I used to be able to drive over bridges, yeah. and then I got about to the age of sort of. 20 ish, and I just couldn't drive over bridges. But even when you could drive over bridges, was that a confident driver? No, no, like there was only certain, you know. So some, there was always something yeah, in the back of your mind. There, yeah. We, um, yeah. We're going we're gonna to show you, in the interest of science, mm -hmm. this is a bridge, I think, nearby where you live in mm -hmm. Bristol. Mm -hmm. I think we're, we're going to show mm -hmm. here. No, uh, it's oh, not. yes. That, this this is is the oh, that bridge, the picture. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant the one we got you to walk no. over. Yeah. Um, does that. That's that's the Clifton suspension. Mm. Is that Isambard Kingdom Brunel? Is, if I'm yeah. right, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, do you not admire it? Do yeah, you, it's a brilliant, you, it's a beautiful yeah. bridge. Yeah. It but, is. but but does it, that does that like fill you with a wee bit it of angst? It does. There? Yeah, it makes yeah. I, it does make me feel anxious. It, the, the only way that I can if if I ever drive over that is that I put my money in, I hold up the traffic, and I ignore the speed limit and just. Put my foot down and I'm over it. <laughs> not to be recommended. That would be not a good idea. No, it's not a good it idea. might form an interesting defence yeah. in court. The speakmans could yeah. testify yeah. for well, you. Well, Nick and you always right. say you've got, you, know, you get people to face their fears. So earlier on, um, we sent you out with Nick mm -hmm. and Eva. This is to mm. the um, Golden Jubilee Bridge just down here across the River Thames um, mm. to face your fear. Mm. So let's have a look how you got on. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to be taking you uh, as close as we can up to that bridge. I'm okay. I feel okay. I'm just going to see how I feel when I get to the top. Okay. Let's carry it. Carry on then. There it is. Mhm. Mm Feeling anxious? Yeah, I actually do feel anxious now. Yeah. Nothing. I, I'm sort of feel trapped, really. I suppose by it. I'm sort of overwhelmed by it. But the water makes it worse. Definitely makes it worse. Okay. I was mentioning oh. your heart rate, Abigail, and you are a nurse, mm -hmm. um, so you know this only too well. Your normal resting rate should be around 70, mm -hmm. mid-70s. Yours went to 133 there. So it was an... Oh, 150. Sorry, it went to the... No, 150 is dangerous. You didn't yeah. quite get to 150, <laughs> right? You didn't yeah. quite get there. You were 133, OK? Yes. Mm. Wasn't good. Mm. Right. Mm. But Abigail actually wouldn't... She would only walk a, a very short distance 
Um, but when it came to the water, there was she just stopped us and said, I can't go any further. Mm. So there does seem to, you, your fear does seem to elevate mm. inc and increase mm. Uh, mm. dramatically when mm. water's involved. Mm. Yeah, it does. Can yeah. you right. swim? Yeah, well. So you're not afraid of no. water? Okay. No, I can. No, I um, right, how big a challenge is this for you in the time that we have got available? <laughs> the time is always an issue. Can we help, Abigail? Absolutely. Um, but obviously it's just the time scale involved. Um, but we're, we're hopeful and we would absolutely love to get you back on that bridge later today. Happily. And across the bridge. <laughs> yeah, to cross the to bridge. Walk, so your plan today yeah. is to get her to walk right, across, across that the bridge. bridge. Yeah. What How are the do you chances feel about that? Of that? Anxious mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. But would you like to? I'd try? love to be able to do it. I would love mm. to be able to do it. It changed my life. It would change my life to be able yeah. to. Do well, that's the start, yeah. isn't it? That she yes. wants to yeah. do it. Because yes. I would have thought holidays, the fear mm. of the unexpected, mm. um, life is severely curtailed, yeah, and, right. and not just for you, but for people around you, mm, of course. Mm. But anybody with a phobia, and I'm sure you'll, you'll agree and understand this, that anybody with a phobia, every day they have to make contingency plans. Yes. Mm. To avoid mm. the mm. things that they don't like, the yeah. phobia, mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, we're not going to avoid it. We're going to confront it straight on. Uh, mm -hmm. We wish you all the best. Thank you very Thank much. You yes. very much. Good, good luck. Hands. Thank you. Do you know what? I don't think they've had a failure. I really don't think yeah. they've had... No, <coughs> 65, 64 so far. So she's number 65. OK, OK. Pressure. Right, we'll get that sorted. Can Abigail just, walking the bridge. And Karen says, I'm really glad I'm not alone in this, having a fear of bridges. Yeah. I feel sick whenever I think of crossing one. And I live in London, so there's so many bridges. So and many talking bridges. of bridges in London, that's where Abigail Russell has been taken. This is the Golden Jubilee Bridge, yeah. just down the river here, across the Thames. So she had a big problem. We've got Nick and Eva Speakman in. And uh, live now, on your telly, they are trying to solve that phobia. So let's go to Golden Jubilee Bridge so on the Thames. We're, here, we're back on the bridge uh, where we were earlier today with Abigail. Now we've not had uh, as long as we would like with Abigail. It has been very, very rushed. However, um, at this point earlier today, Abigail, you said you felt like an eight mm -hmm. out of ten. Yeah. Okay, so how are you feeling now? Now I feel two. That's good. So that was eight out of ten on a fear scale. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you're eight. And, and, you, and you actually yeah. said that you couldn't go any further than no. this because you couldn't walk over the water. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about that now? I feel fine. Are you well, ready to try? Yeah. Should yeah. we give it a go? Yeah. Yeah. So we've, got, we've got the water here. Yeah. So this is where we were before. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to do is just get a little bit close to the water's edge. So mm -hmm. we're approaching the water's edge now. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's happening? Does that make any difference to yeah, you? Yeah, I feel fine. I feel fine. I feel like it's just. Yeah, it's fine. I feel fine. Do you feel confused? Um, I feel a bit, it does feel a bit sort of surreal, I suppose. One minute, you know, like an hour ago, I was in a state, and now I don't feel like I'm in a state. I feel fine. The thing that when I noticed when we walked here early, even before uh, we got to the water, was that Abigail was doing a sort of heavy breathing, hyperventilating. Um, but there's nothing. You see, no, your yeah. breathing seems... Did yeah. you notice that before, that you were trying to control your breathing? I, no, I can't, I can't remember that scene okay. now, no. Um, just trying to do it. So your heart rate feel, feels fine? Yeah, I feel like my heart rate's fine, yeah. It feels yeah. Your heart rate, just looking at the monitor, your heart rate is actually 86, 92, 98. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fabulous. Yeah. It's totally different to last time, yeah, isn't much, it? Yeah, much better to last time, yeah. Yeah, we think we yeah. hit 133 yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think, what we'd like to do is okay. stop here and let yeah. you just do the rest of the, on your own. OK. How do you feel about that? I feel fine. We're well, standing here okay. and watching that. Okay. So I think go. there might be somebody waiting for you down okay. there. It could well be. I don't know who it might be. <laughs> Let's go who could it be? Yeah. Go and have a look. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm done. done. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> That's amazing. Well oh, thank you. Yeah, I feel absolutely fine. I don't, yeah, like, yeah, I can keep going. I feel fine. <laughs> Good way. Yeah. yeah. Well, how how do you feel, Dan? Please, proud of her. Are you surprised? I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, what would you normally have stress. seen at this, if you should have done this before, what would have been happening right now? Normally? Lots of stress, lots of panic. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. yeah. And I believe it wouldn't have been... I believe you had to spend a lot of time driving round things for her and driving over bridges for her because she can do that. Yeah, I do have to do all the driving, so now she might be able to do some of the driving for us. 
Yeah. Maybe a how bit about less you, Rosie? How have you seen um, Abigail before oh, today? When I saw when I saw the terror on her face, it, you know, when I first encountered it, she told me about the phobia, and I really couldn't quite believe it. It was just, you know, when so I so you've saw actually it, witnessed it. Yeah, yourself. when I witnessed it myself. And what yeah. happened? It was just panic, it was just sheer panic. Hit her. And what about seeing her now? How it's would amazing. you describe I her now? I can't believe it. I'm nearly <laughs> speechless. <laughs> Yeah, I feel fine. Change, women. I do feel absolutely fine. We're yeah. actually over the water. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are you very proud of it? Because we yes. are. Yes. Very proud. Yeah, we're so, so, so pleased. <laughs> so is it, it going to... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Brilliant. Oh, Thank you. Well done. Well, You've been amazing. You've been amazing. Well done. Thank you as well. Thank you. Brilliant. Oh, Brilliant. What about that? Wow. Another success yeah. story from the Speakmans. Well done, Nick and Eva, but more oh, importantly, yeah, well done, you. Abigail.